how to professionally insulate wall cavities with froth pack insulation. You need froth pack insulation, Tyvek hooded coveralls, eye protection and respirator with organic vapor and P100 cartridge, nitro gloves, and a trash bin. First, make sure all flame sources are extinguished. Then, prep the area and double check the manual. Next, check that the kit contents are optimally between 70 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, mix the tanks. Lift the InstaFlow dispenser from the box and fully uncoil the hose. Now, coat the inside face of the InstaFlow dispenser with petroleum jelly. Fully open both tank valves. Then, check for product flowing through lines. If there's no product, shut tanks off immediately and check the troubleshooting guide in the manual. Pull the trigger of the InstaFlow dispenser and spray until both streams are equal. Wipe down the dispenser face and apply more jelly. Push the nozzle firmly into the InstaFlow dispenser. Hold the dispenser at least six inches away from the spray area and fully engage the spray trigger when you're ready. Move in a back and forth motion. Keep in mind that the foam cures in 30 seconds. Once spraying is complete, push down on the ejector to remove the nozzle. Clean the product from the dispenser face with a clean rag. Then reapply one last coat of petroleum jelly and firmly reinsert the used nozzle once more. Close both cylinder valves and store. Reuse froth pack for up to 30 days. Continue ventilating the area for at least another hour. That's it. Applications of froth pack insulation up to two inches thick can be left uncovered. And that's how you quickly insulate using froth pack insulation.